Hi guys, welcome, welcome back. This is Mr. Bennett. The number is on the board, so you don't know. Today we'll be looking at cosine rule. And the cosine rule is used when it's not a right angle triangle. But not only that, it must we must know two sides between an angle between two known sides. So it's an angle between two known sides. Let me show you what I mean. Say we are given this triangle. One, it's not a right angle triangle. And an angle, we have two known sides. So that's when we use the cosine rule. And the side that we're looking for, let us call it A for argument's sake. This side B, this side C. So A square, that's the side we're looking for, is equal to B square plus C square minus 2BC, which is these two, cos the angle that is given, which is 50. Just for argument C. Let us not put 50, let us put theta. Because it's a general formula, right? So, if we're looking for this side, it will be A squared plus B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cos theta. So you see, this formula is very, very simple. Alright, let us just assume we were looking for B squared. Now, B squared... And I want you guys to see the pattern, right? And for the third one, you guys are going to do it, alright? So B squared would be equal to, so it will be this side you're looking for, so it will be equal to A squared plus C squared minus 2AC cos B. Let's just change this to cos A. So you're going to do the third formula. So C squared would be equal to what? You can leave that in the comment section if you wish. As I say, it is very, very simple. Alright, I'm going to just, since I already have this on the board, I'm just going to work this example. Now, we are given two sides, yes, and, an ang and the angle is between... The two known sides, so we know both sides. So we can say now, let's erase this. Now we're not going to use a formula per se, we're just going to do it simple. So it would be a squared equal to 10 squared, the side that is given, plus the next side squared that is given, which is 15 squared. Minus 2 times 10 times 15 cos 50. Right, so let's rewrite this. A squared is equal to 10 squared plus 15 squared minus 2 times 10 times 15 times cos 50. Now what, you, what I want you guys to do, I always tell my students this. Just put a big bracket right here. Because you're going to work out that part first before you subtract anything. So let us look now. So a squared would be equal to 10 squared. 10 squared means 10 times 10. That would be 100. Plus 15 times 15 would be 225. Minus 2 times 10 is 20 times 15. Let's just see that. 15 times 20. 300 times cos 50. Now what I want you guys to why I want you guys to put the bracket around it because I want you guys to work out that first. So it will be 300 times cos 50. Use a calculator and that gives us 192. Remember the going that's rule, we have to multiply first. Now we are going to add 100 
plus 225. So it is 100. So we get 3, 2, that's Jesus. 3, 2, 5. So 3, 2, 5. Minus 192. And that will give us 132. So a squared is equal to 132. Now, in order to get rid of the square, we have to do the opposite, which is to find the square root. And the square root of 132 So therefore, a is equal to 11.48. And to one decimal place, because 8 is higher than 5, we add 1 to the 4, so we get 11.5, and whatever unit it may be. So as you can see, the cosine rule is very simple. It's the two sides, it, one, it must be this condition, you must have an angle between two known sides and it must not be a right angle triangle. And then we basically can just go ahead and do it. Let us do one more example before we go. This is not very hard, so we will not spend a lot of time on it. Alright guys. It's a very short video. Just to get to the concept. Look out for my next video when I'm doing the all the, the, the trigonomic rule combined, the Pythagoras theorem, the sin, the sin cos and tan, which is a trig ratio, the cosine, and also the sine rule combined. Look out for that video. You have to subscribe though, guys. Alright. So let us see. This is 60. This is 20 and this is 10 centimeter. And we are asked to find this. Let us call it x because I don't want you to think that all the time is going to be x. Now we are looking for this side. So x squared is equal to 20 squared plus 10 squared minus 2 times 20 times 10. Plus 60. Let's rewrite that better. X squared is equal to 20 squared plus 10 squared minus 2 times 20 times 10 plus 60 degrees. Alright, let us go ahead and tidy it up now. So X squared, 20, that's the 400 plus 100 minus, as I say, we're going to be doing the bracket first, right? So 2 times that would be 40. 10 times 40 would be 400 plus 60. Can I just put a times there? Because it's times. So 400 times cos 60 is equal to 200. Because, I'm going to do this. Cos 60 is 0 0.5, right? Remember, work out this part first. So this gives us 200, and then we have 500. So therefore, x squared is equal to 500 minus 200. So x squared is equal to 500 minus 200 gives us 300. But remember, in order to get rid of the square root, the square, we have to take the square root of it, right? And what we do to one side, we do both sides. So the square root of that will lift that. Now, we need to find the square root of 300, and that is 17.3 centimeter. Guys, remember, you need a calculator. Notice its length. So, therefore, this side equals 17.3 centimeter. Alright, guys. Good job. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys subscribe to the channel so you can get... 
more videos as they come out the past papers will be coming we're looking at all topics algebra matrices every single topic will be dealt with in order also they are coming as past paper questions also want to look at the sba a lot of students complain about the sba so i'm gonna do a sample sba all right so look out for that all right before you go I want you guys to do this as your assignment. Without practicing and doing math, it makes no sense. You can watch videos all day. If you don't practice on your own, then it makes little sense. It makes little sense. So this is 30 degrees. So this is 15 centimeter. And this is 8 centimeter. And you're going to find the side mark X. And this one now. For my students, this will be graded. They can be from now, to be honest. So this is 12 centimeter. And this is 18 centimeter. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and share with your friends.